You are watching an Autofocus TV special featuring the highlights of the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show. This is the Toyota display area. It's one of the biggest uh, display areas in this year's staging and practically every every time the Tokyo Motor Show is staged. And also like the rest, they have quite an array of uh, models, both new and, and concept ones on display. To name some, they have the Toyota SFR, uh, also the Toyota LHR concept and the Prius, which is actually uh, the main showcase of uh, this year's uh, Tokyo Motor Show for, for Toyota. Well, okay, let's uh, take a look and check out the other uh, cars on display here in this very wide and uh, big uh, Toyota display area at the Tokyo Motor Show here at the Tokyo Big Site. Toyota occupied one of the biggest areas at the Big Side exhibit halls and showcased almost its full lineup of vehicles sold in its domestic market. But the focus of the Toyota booth are concept cars that point the way to its vision of what personal mobile transport will be like in the future. The all-new Prius, designed and built following the Toyota New Global Architecture, or TNGA, is a concept car that is just one short step away from being a production vehicle. This fourth-generation Prius has an entirely new platform, a hybrid engine that has smaller major components which achieve a 40% thermal efficiency, boosting fuel economy, a stiffer chassis. A more exciting design exterior matches the improved handling and dynamic performance that heightens driving enjoyment. The all-new Prius is scheduled to begin selling in Japan at year-end. Also premiered at the Tokyo Motor Show is a Toyota CHR concept, a crossover vehicle that also benefits from TNGA and powered by a hybrid engine. Expressive diamond-inspired styling makes for a bold, emphatic front profile with lower grille that is both stylish and functional, improving aerodynamic performance and cooling. Toyota is already moving to present a production-ready CHR at the Geneva Motor Show in March. Still a bit far from production is the Toyota FCV Plus. The FCVP still looks like it was just lifted off an artist's sketch of a future-looking vehicle. But the significant thing about the FCV Plus is the concept of its fuel cell powertrain that points to a feature when hydrogen will have a more important role in powering automobiles. SFR, a lightweight sports car, shows that Toyota is not forgetting about the fun in driving. A compact body with long nose and wide body present a classic sports car profile. Toyota is thinking of producing the SFR as an entry-level model that will hearken to those who like sports cars. Then there is the Kikai, among the more visually stunning concept cars on the Toyota stage. It harkens to a bygone motoring age when car enthusiasts strip cars to its bare essence and race them. The Kikai, which means engine in Japanese, is seemingly designed to present a car's moving parts, the suspension, the engine, out in the open and beautifully crafted. Over at the Lexus booth, a number of Lexus production cars are finally introduced to the Japanese market after their earlier debuts in the North American market. 
These are the all-new RX Premium Crossover, which is powered by a low CO2 emission hybrid engine with intercooled 2.0-liter 4-cylinder Turbo Duo HC engine. The GSF High Performance Sport Sedan powered by a 5.0-liter V8 engine made it to an 8-speed Sport Direct Shift transmission and made all more sporty looking by a large spindle grille and large air ducts. And it's more sedate but update cousin, the GS, powered by a 3.5-liter V6 engine. But providing a vision of the future of Lexus is the LFFC concept, a vehicle that Lexus says offers a peek into the design and technology direction of its future flagship sedan. And what will be powering Lexus vehicles in the future? The LFFC concept says it could use a high output fuel cell power system. You are watching a special episode of Autofocus featuring the highlights of the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show.